Hi, I'm Sam Thompson. This is Keep It Classic Tuesdays. I used to work for NASA studying space dust, but now I've moved on to much more important things, making drinks at MG Road. Today we'll be making the Sazerac. So the Sazerac, uh, the classic of classics. There are, you know, a handful of 19th century drinks that we still uh, enjoy today. Maybe the only other one that's older than that is um, a Martinez or uh, an Old Fashioned. Back in the day, in the 19th century, you'd be making it 100% um, with cognac. Uh, today we'll be making it with rye whiskey. And we'll add one and a half ounces. Now, the drink was originally made with cognac, and so we'll be adding just a half ounce, sort of to tip our hat to that original recipe. This is sort of, in a sense, like an old-fashioned. Um, we're just gonna add a little sweetener. I'm gonna add a quarter ounce of a Demerara syrup. That's a two to one syrup. Sort of the interesting thing, thing about this drink is we're gonna add bitters and we're gonna add a lot. So I'm gonna do just like one dash of Angostura because I feel like Angostura belongs almost in every cocktail. Um, and then we're gonna add a bunch of Peychaud bitters. Okay, so I'm gonna add like, I don't know. Four, five. I just kind of keep dashing until uh, it feels good. If the drink isn't a slight pink color, then you've done something wrong. Uh, Peychaud does have like red number three in it or red number five or uh, I forget. Anyway, but don't worry, it doesn't cause cancer. Okay. Now before we stir, we want to prepare the glass that we'll be drinking out of. Now we need to coat this glass with absinthe, okay? Not just any absinthe, this is a delicious French absinthe I highly recommend. There's gonna be a little bit of absinthe that gets mixed up with the drink, and so you're gonna taste that. But it's also important that the interior of the glass is coated so that when sort of your nose goes in, you get a nice smell. Um, and you just wanna kinda of roll that absinthe around and make sure the whole inside of the glass has touched that absinthe. Because really the drink's only gonna go up to about here, um, so the rest of the glass is still gonna have that absinthe coating. Um, which is important. You can also use like a mister and sort of spray it in there. That's a really efficient way of doing it. You can also spin the glass like that. And now it's nice and coated. I'm gonna get rid of the excess because you don't want to add too much. It's good. Now we just need to add some ice to our glass. And typically you'll be stirring um, anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds. It's all thermodynamics. Depends on the temperature of your mixing glass, the temperature of your ingredients, the temperature, you know, how wet or dry your ice is. I think that's good. And we use a julep strainer to strain this into our glass, which has absinthe in it. Okay, now before we're done, we're going to just create a lemon twist here and squeeze that lemon twist over the drink. Really what we're looking for here is uh, the oils from the peel. Um, we're not actually gonna drop this in the drink, and this goes back 100 years. It's one of those few drinks where you squeeze the peel and then you discard the peel. So now we have sort of nice aromatics of absinthe, lemon. Rye and cognac really mix well. It's a perfect amount of sugar. It's a great drink. It's really timeless. Uh, you know, you can't go wrong. So, um, cheers. The Sazerac is sort of the grandfather of the classics. If you haven't had one, then you're missing out. And you don't know your history. So, get educated. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Join us every Tuesday at MG Road for classic cocktails. Keep it classy. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to manage a busy bar, but Webstrom makes it easy by shipping everything you need to your door. Courtesy of Webstrom Store.